It's now time for The Morning Show on XL7 TV. Welcome to The Morning Show on XL7 TV. I'm Bob Rick, and while this is Scooter, whoop, whoop, Scott Callies. Well, how are you this Not morning? Not bad for Monday. It's back to Monday? Mm-hmm. Again? Mm-hmm. You have a lot of Mondays. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At least five in a week. At least five in a week. No, the other day you had a Wednesday. But that was on Friday. No, no. But at least it wasn't a Monday. <laughs> we they did progress forward. Just, just a little not, bit. Not where you needed to be. Yeah, just a little bit. So I screwed her. I'm, I'm doing good. I can't complain. Yeah, you can. You just don't do it on the air. Yeah, nobody wants to hear it. So Especially me, so quit doing it off the air. That, what? Huh? <laughs> I'm the least whiny, complaining person there is. Well... <laughs> Unless it's supposed, I'm, to, it's unless supposed I'm to rain about you. today. It's supposed to rain today. There might be some lightning involved, so be careful with those words. <laughs> we got a little rain last night. Not a big storm, but a little rain. So did you and David talk about the eclipse yesterday? We talked a little bit about it, yeah. It was cool to watch, and uh, we didn't get the, uh, the mass influx of people, but... Uh, you know, I've I've really come to the conclusion that there may have been more people here than what we saw. Okay. Because um, you look at some of the pictures around, like out at the lake, down on the rivers, you know, they're in the general area. I think there may have been more people here than actually came into town. Gotcha. Because uh, yeah. the hotels, town, hotels were full. Um, for, the, for, the, for the most part. Some of them, yeah. Um, a lot of the resorts had a lot of extra people. But I think the the main focus of them didn't come into town. Yeah, they were out out of town in the places to see. You know, the overlook there at Cotter uh, on the uh, Marion County side it had several lots of cars there. Matter of fact, uh, the Bull Shoals overlook there at Gaston's um, Nature Center, with that, whatever that's called, saw pictures with lots of cars there as well. So you know, I, I think that the um, the locals probably stayed closer to home. I and agree with that, yeah. There was a good number of folks here just didn't come into town. Because yesterday, town was pretty full yesterday. Yeah, the ta- I was going to say, yesterday we were pretty packed. And that's, uh, compared to what it's been through the weekend and stuff, um, I mean, we jumped up a notch yesterday for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we went for lunch yesterday afternoon, Miss Tina and I, and uh, it took a little while to get there. Um so well, I, the really, good I really is, think that we've had folks in, uh, maybe not have been the influx of traffic that we expected in town, yeah. but I think the numbers were still not 150,000 by no means, but I think there was a good number of folks that actually came in. And the good part is, like I said, without that big influx in town for those that wanted to get around and see things, they could. You know, it did make the trip probably a little bit easier than always being in a traffic jam going everywhere. So yeah. it... Uh, I, and I got a, I got a, I watched the eclipse. And I think you did too, didn't you? You you were able to watch some of it, and well, it was I'm pretty cool. About five minutes worth. Yeah. Like throughout the whole time, I spent about five minutes. Being able to <laughs> run out, take a look. Run out, take a look. It was pretty cool. Uh, I did get to see the total dark, the totality portion of it, which I thought was pretty cool. What did amaze me is what you know you you get in total totality and and it's it's dark outside i mean it's not completely black but it's dark and and all it takes is it move over just just a little sliver of the sun poking Mm -hmm. out and the whole thing just lights back up i mean that you know i would have thought it would have been more gradual but just a little sliver and all of a sudden everything's lit back up (laughs) what i what i thought was the neatest thing about the whole thing and we'll carry on but was the temperature drop yes how quickly the temperature once that sun is covered for the most part uh the temperature drop was pretty cool it was pretty quick so you already got your plans made for the next one no 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 i bet if you reserve now you get a pretty good price possibly It's time for the morning prayer, brought to you by Hospice of the Ozarks, 870-508-1771 is their number. Greg Wood and his staff would be glad to help you any way they can, answer any questions they can for you about hospice care, what it means to you, your family, your loved ones, even for your pets. They can they have a program to help you 
uh, do something with your pet if you don't have somewhere for the pet to go. 870-508-1771 is their phone number. They've been serving Baxter Marion County since 1979. They'd be glad to help you any way they can. And now the morning prayer. Lord God, we just thank you for the day that you've given us, Lord. We just thank you for uh, the safe travels that you've given the people that did come to town, uh, getting here and going back home. Lord, we always pray for our troops, Lord, that are fighting in conflicts overseas. Lord, we especially pray for their families as they are left at home wondering what's next. Lord, we just pray for our government, our state, federal, county, and local. Lord, we just pray that you will continue to remind them that they are in these positions to represent the people and not their pocketbooks. Lord, we just pray that you will continue to lead God, direct us, and keep us safe. And it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Morning Prayer, brought to you by Hospice of the Ozarks, 870-508-1771. Give them a call if you have any questions about hospice care. We'll be back in just a moment after a quick word from Bob and Linda Zadora, the Z-Team. Oh, honey, we've had such a wonderful vacation here in the Ozarks. I really hate to go home. I know. The lakes, the rivers, they've all been great for fishing. Oh, and the boating and the swimming. And the people are so nice in the stores and restaurants. Let's call an agent and see if we can make Mountain Home our new home. Call the Z-Team, 870-405-0793. Century 21 Lemac Realty, 1024 Highway 62 East Mountain Home. 870-405-0793. Hello, Z-Team? Welcome back to the Morning Show on XL7 TV. It's time for Lake Levels Dam Reports and all the weather updates brought to you by Bob and Linda Zadora. The Z-Team, Century 21 Lee Mac Realty, 870-405-0793 is their number. Retire to Arkansas.net is their website. Go there, click on Live Views, and this is what you see this morning. Pretty nice shot there, Scooter. Mm-hmm. What you're looking at is the beautiful White River and the downtown portion of Cotter, Arkansas. Over to your left, what you'll see is the Rainbow Bridge. To your right is Contractors Trust. Way off in the distance to your right, we can see that one little white light. That's probably the city of Gasville, and behind it would be the city of Mountain Home. Straight ahead is the state of Missouri. Over to your far left would be the city of Bull Shoals. You have to kind of go around that bend a little bit to see Bull Mountain, but that's where it's at, city of Bull Shoals. The beautiful White River, some great shots. You can see these shots by going to retiredarkansas.net. You can click on Live Views. You can go there and click on MLS Listing, see what's available in our area. If you find something that tickles your fancy, give Bob or Linda Zadora a call at 870-405-0793. I'm going to run through some temperatures as Scooter lets these uh, click on through. Currently in Mountain Home, it's 60 degrees. Harrison is 58. Batesville is 59. Yeovil is 60. Marshall is 61. Salem, 59. Mountain View, 61. Calico Rock, 60. West Plains, Missouri is 59, Springfield 55, St. Louis, Missouri is 56, Poplar Bluff, Missouri is 60. You know, Scooter, they always say about Arkansas weather, if you don't like it, hang around, it'll change. Yeah. We've had such a weather difference from Monday to today, 20 degree swing. It was 40 degrees Monday, it's 60 degrees today. Just quite the swing. It's just been a roller coaster lately. Yeah, Mountain, View, <laughs> Mountain View was 37 on Monday at 61 right now. What a deal. Let me pan this out. Take a look I'll, at the I'll radar. take the 61. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it too. They can keep the rain for a few more days though. On the national radar, you can see we've got some rain built up down southern Arkansas. We've got some rain coming across from Oklahoma City. And as soon as that thing calms down, it makes my eyes quit blinking. da 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 and the rain is moving to the north, so we should be getting some rain sometime around 10 o'clock this morning. Is it ever going to catch up, Scooter? There right, we go. There we go. Currently right now, it's not raining too much in Arkansas. Down around the southern portion, around 9 o'clock, it starts picking up around Little Rock. Sometime between 10 and 11, it should be getting into the lower half of Baxter County. About noon, we should be getting some rain. And they say the early evening it should stop and we should be okay. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice. Woohoo! And there on the national weather scene, we've got tornado watch down in Louisiana and parts of Mississippi and Alabama. Arkansas just looks like heavy rain coming across this morning. Um, Missouri looks pretty clear. Oklahoma, it's amazing how this thing knows where all the state lines are. <laughs> it just, just gets me. Seven day forecast. It's a chance of showers, then showers. A chance of showers, then showers. There you go. Okay. High today of 64, 
tonight, 90% chance of rain, showers, and windy. Low of 49, chance of rain and breezy tomorrow. High of 66, tomorrow night's going to be clear. Low of 43, Friday, sunny, high of 71, clear Friday night, low of 49. Saturday is going to be a nice warm day, sunny and 80 degrees. Saturday night, low of 59, and Sunday, high of 83. First part of next week, we're looking at 82 on Monday and 80 on Tuesday. Lake levels and dam reports, Lake Norfolk 553.81. Uh, no generation is going on at this time. Last reported was 830 cubic feet per second going through three open spillway gates. And Bull Shoal, 657.88, which is 1.12 uh, below full pull of 659. Last reported generation was two. It didn't look like they had two going on in those pictures, but uh, they did not update this morning. So if you want to check that out for yourself before you go take a trip on the river, give them a call at 870-431-5311. Listen to the recording. They generally do it every morning around 6, but yep. they missed it this morning. There you go. That's the Lake Levels, Dam Reports, and all the updates brought to you by Bob and Linda Zadora. The Z-Team, Century 21 Lamac Realty, 870-405-0793 is their number. RetiredArkansas.net is their website. These are realtors you can recommend to your friends. I say they're busy, but never too busy to help you. You're watching The Morning Show on XL7 TV. We'll be back in just a moment. acres add up, so does the work. The Kubota L02 Series is ready for it. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience, it features powerful, dependable Kubota diesel engines, performance matched attachments, and the versatility to get the job done right. For all your Kubota needs, visit Ozarks Farm and Lawn in Mountain Home. For all things Welcome back to the Morning Show on XL7 TV. It's time for Community News and Happenings, brought to you by Ozarks Farm and Lawn, the dealership that deals. Highway 62 Southwest at Buford Road on the right-hand side going out of town, on the left-hand side coming in. Either direction you're going, you're not going to miss it because they've got all kinds of tractors, they lawnmowers, <coughs> lawn tractors, zero turns, RTVs, UTVs, meat They TVs. are fully oh. stocked, and he's got more coming in, so... yeah. Yeah, you can go out there and test drive about any size, shape, style. Skags, Kubotas, New Hollands, Tedders, Rakes, Balers, Round Bales, Square Bales. They got a lot of baling equipment what in the right bale. now. They got box blades, bush hogs. They got it all. Don't ignore me. Talking to you. What's that? <laughs> Don't ignore me. I didn't hear your question. I, was I know. I was talking. I couldn't hear you. I can tell. Yep. <laughs> you know, God gave you two ears and one mouth for a reason. <laughs> you should use them accordingly. Yeah. yeah. I'll think about that. You'll think about it. All right. Here we go. Uh, upcoming community news and happenings. The happenings are the Second Amendment Legacy Foundation is a 501c3, raises money for things like shooting sports. Uh, the way they're set up, Scooter, is they can actually... If there's a local or area volunteer fire department, some of this money can go to that if they put in a request. This, they used to be doing uh, fundraisers for friends of the NRA. Uh, then they discovered that a lot of the money that they were raising, they were only getting a small portion of that back to use locally. So they formed Second Amendment Legacy Foundation to counteract that. So now 100% of the net proceeds will go to uh, in and around Baxter County. They are a 501c3, so 100% of your donation is 100% tax deductible. You can get some more information at 2alegacyfoundation.org and check that out. They are doing a fundraiser friend, banquet next Friday, April the 19th at 5.30 at Baxter County Fairgrounds. I think there's some single tickets still available. You can give Joanna Baxter called 870-424-3535. Bo Trammell called 870-402-9002. And Dan Hall to call at 870-421-2322. You know, phone numbers used to be a lot easier around here. <laughs> Back when you only had 424, 425, and 492. Yeah. Now and they, we've got all these extras. And sometimes area codes on top of it. Oof. Yeah, you used to local not have to put the area code in. Now you have to. Right. Single dinner tickets are 35. Couple tickets are 60. The raffle stacks are still available. 250 for a raffle stack. And for a large raffle stack, 500. 
and that it would include a free dinner ticket as well. Junior Bomber football camp will be for grades five, six, and seven for Mountain Home Public Schools. It'll be held at Bomber Stadium on Wednesday, the 24th of April, and Thursday, the 25th. It's from 5.30 to 7. It does not cost anything. Wear comfortable athletic clothing and football cleats or tennis shoes and bring a bottle of water. For more information, talk to one of your teachers at your school or try to get a hold of Coach Steve Airy at sairy at mhbombers.com. T-shirts will be provided by the locker room. You know, football season just around the corner. It is. Coming quick. Cast for Kids at McCabe Park. It's a fishing event for uh, children with special needs. It'll be Saturday the 27th of April at uh, McCabe Park on Jerry Baker Lane from 9 to 1 on that Saturday. It's uh, Join us for a morning of fishing followed by a lunch and special awards. Pre-registration is required. Space is limited. Participants must be at least six years old. Uh, accessible to all disabilities. A parent and garden, guardian must attend with a child. It's a free event with lunch included. It's pr presented by Farm Bureau Insurance. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. West will be joining us here in just a little bit. We'll talk more in depth about that event that's coming up at McKay Park. Cast for Kids at McKay Park. Should be a good time. Another youth football camp. This one is put, brought to us by the, the Mallet Family Foundation Sports Camps, uh, where passion meets purpose. Uh, this is a football camp. Uh, the late coach Ryan Mallett, uh, he was pretty much into the kids, so he, his family has designed these camps. And I don't believe it's just going to be a mountain home. They'll be doing them all over the place. This is uh, the Ryan Mallett Number 15 Family Foundation, and uh, they have teamed up with Mountain Home to do this. We'll have some more information about that. It's not going to be till June 17th, but we'll talk more about that later on. Let's see what we got going on here. Local news. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> There'll Fingers. be a, a Baxter County Rabies Clinic from the 19th and the 20th. Uh, be held at All Creatures Lakeside, All Creatures Midway, All Creatures Mountain Home, Animal Health Care, Baxter County Animal Clinic, Cornerstone Veterinary Clinic and Hospital, Spring Park Animal Hospital, and Twin Lakes Animal Clinic. Um, rabies vaccinations will be $12. There you go. It's a good deal. All, um, the money from this event will help fund programs and camps for Baxter County 4-H. There you go. Awesome. A little chance to get your dog vaccinated and um, do something good for the 4-H. Let's see. Did you catch anything this morning that you wanted to talk about? No. Nah. Nah, probably not. N nothing positive. Nothing too positive, that's for sure. Like I mentioned off the air, Yeovil has hired their new head football coach. Uh, Chasten McCarthy is going to be coming over from Shiloh Christian. He'll be taking the reins as the head <coughs> Yeovil Summit Panthers coach. Uh, coming from Shiloh Christian, and Shiloh Christian has announced that they are hiring head basketball coach uh, Jonathan Bullington. Do you remember Coach Bullington? I do not. He was a Mountain Home Bomber basketball coach here as an assistant under Coach Mitch Husky. He also coached tennis. Uh, he's been working awesome. over in Springdale. He's now going to be going over to Shiloh, Shiloh Christian. Uh, most recently, he's been a uh, assistant coach at Harbor. So good luck for him. Let's see what else we got going on. Uh, Mountain Home Soccer split with Van Buren yesterday. I think the boys uh, got beat, but the girls ended up winning. Congratulations to them. And let's see, I don't see anything else worth talking about. Oop. That'll All do right. it. Well, that's community news. Community news and happenings brought to you by Ozarks Farm and Lawn, the dealership that deals. 870-425-3434 is a phone number. Give them a call if you need any kind of tractor parts. I bet they got them. Oh, yeah. Needing your tractor service, they can take care of you. There you go. Give him a call, Ozark Swarm and Lawn. You're watching the morning show on XO7 TV. We'll be back in just a minute.
For all things glass, contact the professionals at Clarizalt's Glass in Mountain Home. Whether you're needing a rock chirpy pair or a full windshield replacement, Clarizalt's Glass can take care of all of your automotive glass needs with fast turnarounds at competitive prices. They service business and residential customers and can custom cut any glass or provide you with the right fit for your home windows, sliding doors, commercial glass, or even a frameless shower enclosure. Contact Clearizalt's Glass today for a quote or to schedule your next glass project. That's Clearizalt's Glass, located in Mountain Home. Your senior health care specialist is Vaco Insurance in Mountain Home. Retired law enforcement and disabled veteran owner Frank Vaco and staff can help you with all your insurance needs. Vaco Insurance provides coverage for most carriers in the area, such as Medicare, Affordable Care Act, Individual, or any other health or life insurance options. With over 13 years experience and agents in multiple areas and locations throughout northern Arkansas and southern Missouri, Vaco Insurance is the right choice to handle all your insurance needs. That's Vaco Insurance, located in Mountain Home. Have you ever noticed every time you wash your car, you end up wetter than the actual car? Next time, run down to Car Care and let the friendly staff put a smile on your face. Car Care of Mountain Home has a variety of services to clean your vehicle's needs, inside and out. From a simple wash and shine to their outstanding detailed services. Located 1525 Highway 62 East in Mountain Home. Stop by Car Care Mountain Home today because driving a clean car always makes you feel good. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, it's our desire that you think about finding a way to live your life to the fullest while living with a serious illness. If you ever need help and support, we provide a team of healthcare professionals and volunteers that will support your physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of life while doing the same for your family and caregivers in the comfort of your own home or wherever you call home. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, We hope that you grant us permission to walk on the journey with you. Your not-for-profit option since 1979. Hi, I'm Bob Zador, the Z Team. I'd like to share something with you. Our team didn't need to reach everyone to be considered successful. We only needed the power of one. One person who was delighted with the way they were treated, helping them to reach their real estate goals. One person who told another person, told another, and so on. So if you're ready to buy or sell real estate, the Z Team would like to be your one. Give us a call. 870-405-0793, 870-405-0793, Century 21, Lee Mac Realty, 1024 Highway 62 East in Mountain Home. Welcome back to the Morning Show on XL7 TV. This morning, my guests are Denver and Christy West. They're from Cast for Kids. It's going to be held at McLean Park on April the 27th from 9 to 1. How are you all this morning? Very Great. fine, yeah. You made morning. the big trip from Potemmo. We did. Potemmo, Missouri. Yeah. Left out pretty early and made it here on time. Are y'all from there? No, originally we're from Arkansas. Okay. Uh, Northwest Arkansas originally, and then we moved to uh, the Lakeview area in 2004. I uh, worked uh, for Arkansas Department of Parks and Tourism at Bull Shoals okay. White River State Park. Okay. What, uh, what brought you to here, to this area originally? Uh, I transferred with the Arkansas with uh, Department Parks. of Parks, yes, from uh, Northwest Arkansas, a big park over there, to Bull Shelves White River State Park. Which you like better? That's a hard. That's a hard question. You, you can know? answer that. They're not going to shut off your retirement fund. <laughs> <laughs> Each one has their own unique. I, I was going to say, I bet they're uh, unique. Thing. Yeah, uh, the Hobbs State Park in Northwest Arkansas is a twelve thousand acre park. And when I worked there, it was undeveloped, but it was in the process of being developed. So it was uh, 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 quite diverse. I mean, the Beaver Lake, the woods, it was the only park you could hunt on in the state of Arkansas. So it was very diverse. Uh, but now there's a big visitor center there and uh, horse and bicycle trails and all that. Then we came to Bull Shoals in uh, 2004 and that was an eye-opening experience going from a very rural very few facilities to a camping park you know 350 400,000 people come through there a year uh, say that say that number again really slow because people don't understand the influx that those parks have on an area yeah uh, how many people in a year 350 to 400,000 350 yeah. to 400,000 yes uh, and uh, a lot of the folks are repeat customers there at that park for years and years. And then their children, and then their grandchildren come. And uh, so it's kind of a city in itself. And then right on the White River, 
You're right there, they, a trout dock and the Great Visitor Center, which was uh, opened in 2006. And uh, so each park is very, very diverse. And in, in if you want to go back into the more nature, nature, go to Hobbs State Park in the wilderness kind of Primitive setting. Primitive camping. Uh, yes, uh, but now they, uh, like I said, they have a Great Visitor Center and uh, um, more trails and that are open now mm -hmm. and then white river state park you know is the big draw is the trout fishing so yeah and then bull shells lake you just hop across the dam and you're on the lake and different kind of fishing and and activities two different worlds two different worlds completely miss christie did you work for the parks department as well no no i just kind of followed denver i went to i finished my degree over here at a asu when we got over here uh, teaching early childhood and then uh, went to work at uh, Ludi for about five years and then I retired from that and we're, we're retired now. Where is Ludi? Uh, Theodosia. 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 Mm -hmm. That's the okay. name of the school there. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, the life changes you've seen in, in not only the state parks but this general area since 2004-2006, mm -hmm. uh, 20 years worth of changes, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. It is a lot. It is a lot. Um, you know, Pro Tem, I don't know if you're familiar with it, very, very rural, but we're seeing a, a influx of new folks coming in. Uh, a lot of new um, homes being built uh, mm -hmm. just in our small little area. And then, you know, Mountain Home, uh, you know, this was our home base, you know, for nine, ten years. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you can see a growth here also. Uh, so more people, I believe, are coming to this part of the part of the United States. What got you interested in going to work for Parks and Recreation for the for the state of Arkansas? You know, I, I started volunteering out at the Hobbs State Park Conservation Area. Started uh, volunteering, you know, working on trails, clearing trails, whatever they needed done. And then uh, they said uh, one day they said, "Well, we've got a position open in the maintenance department if you." like to consider that so uh, I did and uh, worked in the maintenance department for a few years and they say well we've got a law enforcement position open be the first one on this park would you be interested and I said yes I would so that was the rest of my career there as a law enforcement officer and then when I transferred to uh, Bull Shoals White River State Park I was uh, assistant superintendent slash law enforcement what did you have to do to get into the law enforcement side well, I had to uh, be Were approved. you law enforcement before that? I had some prior experience okay. with, with a, as a county deputy, okay. yes. Uh, and then 12-week uh, the academy in South Arkansas, and then uh, uh, ongoing training through state parks continuously, yes. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I know somebody used to work down there. Thomas. Ed, Ed Thomas. Ed Thomas. Ed Thomas, yes. Uh, when I was there, he was a uh, Lakeview officer. Okay. And uh, now he is, uh, unless he's changed position, and I don't know, uh, he is like the, uh, he's over that law enforcement division of Arkansas State Parks. Overall? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. That's uh, probably why I haven't seen him in a while. Right. Probably didn't live up here anymore. No, no. <laughs> I, he lives in Mountain View. Oh, is that right? Mm-hmm. So being involved in the parks, I'm sure that's... Uh, got what you which got you started doing this cast for kids and we're we're going to take a break at 7 30 and we'll come back and start talking about what you actually came here for okay very uh, fine but i think it's important for people to have a little bit of background on who you are and what you've been doing and and what got you started into looking into this yeah exactly uh, so you've seen both sides of it you've helped develop a, a park in northwest arkansas you've come over here to a very busy park uh, you've been in all portions of that in the law enforcement side, is there very much law enforcement need in the state park? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you kind of look at it like Bull Shoals State Park, you know, there's a lot of people come into that and you can almost put that into the perspective of it's a little city, mm -hmm. it is. It's a little city and, and cities have, they have problems sometimes. Right. Overall, uh, it's a, a great safe camping experience, yeah. You know, we talked about three to 400,000 people going through that park on an annual basis. How many people can that park hold at one time? You know, I don't, Roughly. they've expanded the camping okay. uh, there now, more campsites and all that. Uh, at that time, there was 
uh, roughly 70 some odd uh, campsites for like uh, campers and motorhomes and then there was a tent area camping site also that went up to I think the largest number was up around 100 or so yeah some really choice sites right on the water yeah you know uh, uh, and they get reserved way out in advance there could be more people at Bullshell State Park than there is in the whole little community of Pro Tem, right? For sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. At any given time. At any time of the day or not, yes. There you go. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back with Denver and Christy West. We're going to actually talk about Cast for Kids here in just a minute. When you're out of town, make sure your pet is with someone who will love them as much as you do. At 201 Pet Salon and Resort, your pet is cared for just as they would be at home. 201 Pet Salon and Resort is the only all-sweet climate-controlled and air-filtered boarding facility in the area with private and spacious rooms to keep your pet relaxed. And with over three-quarters of an acre of fence play area, your pet will receive the proper exercise they deserve. 201 also offers professional grooming services. Your best friend is in good hands at 201 Pet Salon and Resort in Mountain Home. Providing caring, compassionate services at an affordable price is our goal at Connor Family Funeral Home. Connor Family is a full-service funeral home that treats our friends and neighbors just like family with a wide range of services and options to meet your family's needs and customs. We are the first on-site crematory in the area. Connor Family addresses all the details with no hidden fees so you can rest assured that you are treated like family for a more personalized and worry-free service. That's Connor Family Funeral Home where compassion and affordability meet. Located in Mountain Home. Jim Brown Company keeps you cool when it's hot and warm when it's not. A trusted name in the Mountain Home community, Jim Brown Company provides timely heating and cooling installation and repairs. Our certified technicians incorporate new technology on every job to provide you with the most advanced services. At our metal fabrication shop, we handle projects big and small. We've created everything from commercial ducts to custom designs. I'd recommend Jim Brown Company to my friends and neighbors. The reason being they have high-tech equipment, their service techs are well qualified for the job that they do, and they also send me a report after all the work is done so I know exactly what my unit's doing. By visiting our showroom, you can learn all about our heating and cooling products. We'll educate you on your options and help you decide on the right solution. For total comfort at your home or business, choose Jim Brown Company. Quality service with a family name since 1964. Deatley Dental Care is a family-owned dental practice. Doctors Irvin and Christina Deatley grew up in the Twin Lakes area and are proud to serve the community. With modern treatment methods and state-of-the-art technology, they are dedicated to providing exemplary care to patients of all ages. Our compassionate team consistently receives training above and beyond the standard of care. We're changing the way you see dentistry. Come be a part of our dental family. Welcome back to The Morning Show on XL7 TV. Denver and Christy West are with me this morning. We're going to talk about Cast for Kids. It's going to be held at McCabe Park on April the 27th from 9 to 1. What does CAST stand for? Catch a Special Thrill. Uh, Cast for Kids is a foundation. It enriches the lives of children with special needs and supports their families and strengthens communities through the sport of fishing. These children uh, probably don't get a lot of uh, time to be able to go out and fish. But this opportunity with the volunteers, they have to have no skills. Uh, and they're supplied a, a rod, a tackle box, a t-shirt. There'll be a volunteer with each child and they'll be putting the worm on if the child can't, helping them cast, whatever it takes. But it's, it's just a special day for these kids to get to go out and be in nature and have a special day. Where did CAST start and who started it? It started in uh, 1991 and uh, several uh, fishermen, a lot of professional fishermen uh, that were uh, Bassmaster Classic winners and so forth, got together and said, hey, let's do something special for some kids. So they got together and formed this group and, and come up with the, uh, the acronym of CAST for kids. And that's how it started. In 1994, it became a 501C. And uh, 
it's pretty well nationwide, not so much up northeast, but all the way from California, Texas, uh, our regional um, director is Jim Binken, and he uh, is out of Texas. He's over Arkansas, Oklahoma, and uh, Texas. So this is a big organization. There's something going on almost every weekend somewhere here in the country. Hmm. How long have we all been involved? This will be our second year. Uh, two years ago, we went to an event in Springdale, Arkansas at Murphy Park as volunteers. And uh, what, a, what a special day it was for us. You know, I was uh, paired up with a young lady that had never held a fishing pole or anything. Uh, she uh, was pretty well nonverbal, but by, we didn't catch a fish, which was uh, uh, not real good, but it was not bad because she learned how to cast her, her pole, and we just had a great, wonderful time. And then, uh, like I said, Farm Bureau came, and uh, they put on a big feed, and then we have an award ceremony where each child will get a plaque with their picture on it. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, like uh, Christy said, uh, uh, all the supplies are, are donated by Zebco and so forth. And uh, it's just a great fun time, but it, it's a heart-filling day with these children. Mm -hmm. How many of these events have you had here at Baxter County? Uh, we, we attempted last year, but we did not get enough children okay. last year. So, you know, and, and uh, we tried it in October, which thinking about it now is there is just so much going on in October. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many festivals and so many things for uh, folks to be out doing. And uh, it uh, conflicted with hunting seasons and all, all kinds of things. And uh, so we thought, let's, let's try April. Mm -hmm. You know, April, uh, the weather should be, you know, pretty well to get this done. You know, we may have some rain or whatever, but the cold temperatures should all be gone. Uh, McKay Park, I don't know if you've all been out there mm -hmm. before, but it is a wonderful park. Uh, we've been working with the uh, Mountain Home uh, Parks and Recreation Division, and those guys have just been fantastic. Whatever you guys need, let us know. Kind of a, a deal. Arkansas Game of Fish will come in a day or so before this event, and they will stock these ponds. So uh, hopefully everybody don't run out there the day that they stock and, and uh, catch all the fish out there. But uh, we'll, we'll kick off on that Saturday morning. Volunteers need to be there around 8 a.m. and then the, the, the children around 9 or so. And then we'll, we'll fish and, uh, and conclude our day around 1 o'clock. What kind of fish will they put in there? Catfish. Catfish. Catfish, yes. Have to be a little bit careful with those things so they don't For sure. cut you up. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, we'll be taking care of the kids, you know, and hopefully if anybody does get poked, it'll be one of us. <laughs> How many volunteers do you have helping you with this this year? Right now we're short on volunteers. We only have a few signed up. Um, I know that Jim is coming up from Texas. Our regional director will be here. Um, we have some folks I know that's coming from Northwest Arkansas that does an event over there every year, which they'll have another event in May. So we'll probably end up over there helping them. So uh, right now we have eight children signed up and we're gonna have the event this year. Uh, so we're, we're looking for more volunteers and we're looking for more children. Still time to sign up if people want yes, to. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, How do they get a hold of somebody to get signed up? Is it a website or a phone number? Uh, both. Both. Yes, sir. Uh, they can call us directly uh, with our phone numbers. Mine is 870-632-9498. Uh, <clears throat> it's Christie's. Mine is uh, 9499 at the end of it. 870-632-9499. And they can email at McCabepark at castforkids.org? Yes, sir. Uh, Cast for Kids Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit. Um, Sounds like it's going to be a good time. It is. Uh, uh, you know, uh, once you get there and you, you start helping these children, you'll go, oh my goodness, I, I have to come back to another one of these. Uh, it's just so fulfilling, you know. And, uh, you know, we're looking at age of, up to 18. You know, if there's a, a a young man or a young lady out there with special needs and they're 20, 21, come Bring on, them. Yeah. come on out. We're going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. The, the concept and the idea of this is wonderful. Has it, 
apparently it's taking a little bit for it to catch on mm -hmm. and to go on. Are there any other things that y'all do uh, before this event starts to maybe help raise funds for it, or is it all underwritten by Farm Bureau Insurance? No, it is all not. Uh, um, Texas Boats is a big, big contributor to this event here in town. Uh, Baxter Health is involved in it also. So, uh, yeah, there's there's a, a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on. Yeah. Nabatac is one of our sponsors Nabitac, also. Uh, mm -hmm. What is that? It is a, uh, a tackle bait distribution center out of Midway. Okay. Um, so they have donated uh, hooks, sinkers, bobbers, all that. And then uh, they'll donate the, the worms also. And we'll pick them up, you know, a, a few days before the, mm -hmm. the event. But uh, uh, all these organizations have just been so gracious to us. Uh, uh, so we're, we're set. We're ready to go. We've, we've got everything ready to go. <laughs> says here lunch will be provided what kind of lunch are we doing we're uh, talking uh you know the the old favorite staple of hamburgers and hot dogs and uh, all the compliments that go with that uh, and uh, drinks provided uh, so you won't leave there hun uh, hungry i guarantee you yeah. you'll leave with a smile on your face and and hopefully maybe a little mustard <laughs> are they doing uh catch and release or can these uh, young fishermen or women go take their fish with them they can take them yeah yeah this is a, a an event if they want to take them home that's fine if not we'll just release them back into the pond yeah um you know you've been probably there it's it's a well uh, kept area well mowing all the way to the water you know you're not, not going to have to wait through weeds and mm -hmm. cockleburs and all that to get to the water uh wheelchair accessible so you know come one come all all disabilities are accepted yes. all are yes. accepted yes sir and age you'd like for it to be 18 and under but you'll take them a little bit older yes sir yes. yeah um you know um caregivers uh the young lady i had with me last year uh her caregiver was with her but they just kind of you know stayed a little bit in the background and uh her and i you know, you know we kind of bonded and we got we got to where we could cast and uh, she she learned a lot and uh, we just had a great day a good time had by one and all yeah yes. i think christy was she was uh, paired with a young man yes uh -huh. he was he was verbal but he had not fished before either but his caregivers were there his parents and uh, he had a great time how long have you been have you both been involved at the same length of time yes yeah. um, yeah. the springdale the, event was the first one for us both and it just grabbed you both and you've oh, been going yeah. with it ever since it'll fill your heart yeah we, we have a friend that uh lives over there that's been involved with cast for kids for several years and he contacted us and said hey would you like to come and help you know and i'm like well you know that's a three-hour drive but we'll be there so yeah we went over and uh and uh ha had a great day when do you do it over there is it on the lake or is do they have a control pond what you're going to be fishing in here they do uh the city of springdale has a uh, a small little pond lake called murphy park mm -hmm. and with pavilions and all that and that's where the event was held there mm -hmm. yeah and like i said well i'm sure we'll be going back over there in may again to help them give them a hand as well yeah yeah statewide do you know how many kids this will touch I don't. Do y'all have a statewide organization, or just a regional? Just regional, yeah. Do you have yeah. any idea how big the region does, or how many kids? Uh, the most will do? most of it is in Texas um, right now. They're trying to move north. You know, we're the farthest one north. I, there's not any events that I know of in Missouri. Um, hopefully, one day there will be. But as far as the number that, uh, touched, I don't know. California, they just had an event in Sacramento. Uh, where the original director went to that, Jay Ellis, he is the uh, uh, chairman, the, the um, uh, director. So he's involved also. He goes to events all the time. So it's a, it's a hands-on, everybody's involved. All day event. Well, not really. Till one o'clock. Yeah, yeah, we hope to be. It's an all day event for y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we hope to have it wrapped up around one o'clock says you're going to do an award ceremony mm -hmm. uh, you, you mentioned earlier each fisher men or woman will get a plaque with their picture on it yeah uh, they also get the fishing rod the tackle box a t-shirt um, who provides that well Zebco is uh, uh, graciously they uh, they sponsor all the events and uh, you know uh, one day UPS truck pulled up in our driveway and just started unloading box after box after box. 
of, of this stuff. And, and so... Uh, uh, and you're standing with a smile on your face going, are you done yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and, you know, we're, we're loving it. You know, we're on the phone a lot. Um, we're on, uh, on um, the uh, Internet a lot, or Christie is, and uh, yeah. uh, talking to parents and, and different organizations trying to get uh, some more kids lined up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good deal. When we come back, we're going to talk about who all the sponsors are. You've got there on the back of your mm-hmm. shirt. We'll talk about that a little bit here in just a moment. Okay. You're watching The Morning Show on XL7 TV. We're talking cast for kids. We'll be back in just a minute. Even on the most perfect day, the unexpected can happen. But with just one call to their local Red Ribbon expert at Overhead Door, they can get their garage door fixed or replaced in a jiffy. Call Overhead Door Company of North Arkansas today in Mountain Home. Experience the best in Mexican dining. Letty's in Gasville. Voted numerous times as the best Mexican restaurant in the Twin Lakes area. Come out for delicious breakfast served all day. Or enjoy an authentic Mexican lunch or dinner. $1.49 tacos on Thursday. 10% discount for seniors every day. No time? Call Letty's and have your to-go order waiting for you. And don't forget, Letty's also provides catering for small parties, weddings, holidays, or big events. The best Mexican restaurant in the Twin Lakes area. Letty's in Gasville. Oh, honey, we've had such a wonderful vacation here in the Ozarks. I really hate to go home. I know. The lakes, the rivers, they've all been great for fishing. Oh, and the boating and the swimming. And the people are so nice in the stores and restaurants. Let's call an agent and see if we can make Mountain Home our new home. Call the Z Team, 870-405-0793. Century 21 Lee Mac Realty, 1024 Highway 62 East Mountain Home. 870-405-0793. Hello, Z Team? When the acres add up, so does the work. The Kubota LO2 Series is ready for it. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience, it features powerful, dependable Kubota diesel engines, performance match detachments, and the versatility to get the job done right. For all your Kubota needs, visit Ozarks Farm and Lawn in Mountain Home. For all things glass, contact the professionals at Clearizalt's Glass in Mountain Home. Whether you're needing a rock chip repair or a full windshield replacement, Clearizalt's Glass can take care of all of your automotive glass needs with fast turnarounds at competitive prices. They service business and residential customers and can custom cut any glass or provide you with the right fit for your home windows, sliding doors, commercial glass, or even a frameless shower enclosure. Contact Clearizalt's Glass today for a quote or to schedule your next glass project. That's Clearizalt's Glass, located in Mountain Home. Your senior. Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. We're talking to Denver and Christy West. Cast for Kids is going to be held at McCabe Park on April the 27th from 9 to 1. It is a uh, special event for special needs children and sounds like it's going to be a great time. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're excited. We're getting geared up and uh, uh, making a lot of contacts and uh, trying to get. Uh, a few more uh, kids involved in this. So if you're watching the show, no matter where you're watching from, if you're within the side of seeing this, get a hold of uh, Denver Christie, uh, 870-632-9499. Give them a call. Let them know that you've got a special needs child. Um, The age range, they'd like to be up to 18, uh, but they'll they'll fudge a little bit. If you've got one 19, 20, maybe even 21 special needs, get them involved in something like this because you don't know this interaction and this experience you don't know what that will do to the child yeah yeah you know and we mentioned the award ceremony that is the finale and it is the highlight of the whole event you know we uh, we call each child up and present them you know with a shirt and the plaque and just to see the the, the glow on their faces on face. makes makes the day and all the hard work put into this, that that taps it off. It's yeah. rewarding. It's How long does it take rewarding. you all to put something like this together? Mm. Oh, we started working on this event probably three months ago or so. 
uh, you know, and um, without the help of uh, the regional director and those guys, you know, supporting us, you know, we just get on the phone with them and say, hey, what what do we do here? How do we do this? You know, stepping into it new, you know, we're just like, we, we don't have a clue. But uh, with, the, with their direction, we're, we're to where we are today. And um, it, it's going to be a fun day. Yeah. How could it not? How could it not? Right. Unless exactly. it pours down rain, it's about the only thing yeah. that will mess it up. Only day, and if it's pouring down rain, we'll eat. <laughs> 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 and we'll have a good time and, and we'll eat. That's the best way to plan it. Yes. Uh, when these kids come in, and they'll be ready, they'll be fired up and excited about doing this yeah. event. I know they will be. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have a volunteer for each child. Is that the goal? That's the goal. Yes, sir. Um, and the volunteers, they can sign up at this website just just like the the children. Uh, there's a there's a, a link there for volunteers, and there's a link uh, for the kids to sign up. And it's a, a castforkids.org. It's it's pretty simple. And if somebody has a problem uh, with that website, they can call us, and we'll walk them through it, or we'll we'll do it for them. And they can send an email to McCabe Park at castforkids.org. Uh, does that go to y'all? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. We mm -hmm. have a link to that. That is our our website for this our event. Official email address, all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Just go to Cast for Kids. Look look on the website. And it'll say event. Go to events, McKay Park, and you're there. There you go. Yeah. Let's talk about your sponsors for this. Uh, this doesn't happen. It's not cheap to put on an event like this. No, uh, it's not. And no. it can't happen without the local sponsors and yeah. even ones that are not in the area but still do it. Yeah. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, Vexus Boats, uh, Baxter Health is involved. And then, and then like, the equipment here, you know, Lou's rods and reels and money. Uh, uh, we, we've got flamboy. Uh, Tackle boxes, Zebco's rods and reels. So there's a lot of folks out there that are backing us. Uh, and like I mentioned, uh, uh, Arkansas Game and Fish, man, they, mm -hmm. uh, you know, had to pre-register with them back in December to get uh, uh, on, on their schedule to to have the fish placed there by this time of the event. So we've been working with them for quite some time now too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of time on the phone, a lot of time on the on the computer so so it takes a lot of time and like you said the city of mountain home has been very helpful getting this very up and ready for you oh right okay. yes uh just whatever whatever you need call us come by we'll we'll do it for you yeah yeah so uh uh the the city itself has just been outstanding so i'm gonna take a look at one of them shirts can you can you hold one of them shirts up yeah um there you go. Uh, each each child will get a T-shirt like this, um, and uh, like I said, Turn catch right. a special thrill. And then um, on the back, it just has a, a list of the sponsors. Uh, and yes, we do have uh, an array of different sizes. Okay, so every child will not get a small. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, yeah, we have a great big box of shirts, uh, and so we're. We're ready to go. Uh, the volunteers will get a, a, a different kind of shirt uh, that designates them as a volunteer. So it's like, hey, you know, you need to go over there. You need to do this or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, not only is uh, the volunteers just placed with the child, but each of these rods and reels have to be set up, you know, and line threaded, hooks put on, sinkers put on. So there's a different array of uh, duties there. Yeah. <clears throat> But I, I want to encourage the fishermen in this area. I know there's a ton of fishermen in, in, in this part of uh, North Arkansas and with a lot of skills mm -hmm. and uh, that uh, we could really use their help. Do they have to be bass fishermen? Do they, can they be lake fishermen? We won't discriminate. We do not discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> they, can, they can be pond fishermen. They can be a fisher person. And if you can thread a worm on a hook, you're eligible. There. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That counts me out. <laughs> <laughs> I would give you a crash course. Crash course. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, washing clothes and threading hooks. That's two things I can't get my hands on. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, McKay Park, if you don't know where McKay Park, it's behind King Dermatology on Highway 62 Southwest. Uh, it is a fairly new city park. Um, they've built some pretty nice, pretty good sized ponds down there. Yes, there is. Uh, a lot of people go there and go fishing. There's a new walking trail down the back side of that. Uh, it's going to be the home of the new uh, Mountain Home Community Center, Aquatic Center, as, as you will. Hmm. That should be opened up probably by the end of 26. Uh, but that's not going to interfere with the for the fishing at all. No. I think they've got all the construction traffic away from the ponds as, as it is. So uh, parents that might be bringing a young one to this event, they don't have to worry about their child getting mixed up in some construction debris. That, that's just not going to happen. No. Uh, you've got plenty of volunteers that are going to be there to help them. Uh, it's just going to be a fun day for a special needs child. And it, it like it says, uh, catch a special thrill. Mm -hmm. It will be a thrill. It will. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 not only for the children, but for the volunteers participants also. also. And the parents and the caregivers and the volunteers. Mm -hmm. It is a special day. Who gets to cook all the burgers and dogs? Farm Bureau. Farm Bureau is actually going to come uh -huh. out and do that portion mm -hmm. for you. Yes, sir. Coming up from Little Rock. Coming up oh. from Little Rock. Yeah. And, oh. and the local folks here with Farm yeah. Bureau also. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they bring their big uh, cookers and everything. and. They, they set up a, a, quite a display there and some good food, too. Question would be, do the volunteers that will be here to help these youngsters, do they have to have a fishing license? Mm, I would say no. I'm not 100% sure on that. If they're not fishing, if they they're won't. not fishing. Yeah, if they're not fishing, yeah. they, they can help the, the other one, but yeah, yeah, they won't be required if they're, if they're not fishing right. themselves. Because I know people will be wondering about oh, it. Oh, I, I don't have a fishing license, yeah. so I can't go. Well, they're not fishing. They're putting a worm on a hook. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to cover with this? Anything else? I just come out, sign up, come enjoy the day, bring a child. I do want to mention that you don't need to own anything as far as fishing wise, anything no. like that. You guys are supplying the poles. You got tackle boxes, all the equipment they need, everything is supplied for them. Everything. And they take all that back home with them. That's yep. theirs. That's theirs to take home with them. How close to the water will they be getting? Will they need to have life preserver? Well, hopefully not. Uh, if you have a, a child that uh, you may be concerned with, you know, uh, it would not be a bad idea to bring one. But uh, we've been out there several times. It's not a real steep. Uh, access to the water uh, so but then you know they have a, a volunteer with them too yeah so. we, we won't have any provided so mm -hmm. if they if that's a concern if they, they need feel that it. they need one go ahead and bring right. one right. and they'll right. quickly find out they really don't need it yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> this event will be held Saturday April the 27th at McCabe Park on Jerry Baker Lane here in Mountain Homes from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. it's cast for kids at McCabe Park it's a fishing event for children with special needs Join them in the morning, uh, enjoy a full morning of fishing, stick around for lunch and the awards ceremony. Pre-registration is required. You can get a hold of Mr. Denver West at 870-632-9499 or Ms. Christy West at 870-632-9498. You can email them at mckaypark at castforkids.org. Uh, the child participant needs to be at least six years of age or older. Um, accessible for all disabilities the parent and or guardian will be expected to stay with the child the whole time yes or yes. at the facility, at the facility. Not, not a drop-off situation yeah, not yeah. a drop-off not a drop-off um, registration is required space is limited right now you're looking at eight we eight have children. eight eight children signed up now and uh you know we have rods and reels for 20. So you've got plenty of room. Yes, sir. And plenty of time to get some more folks signed yes, up for this. Uh, one other thing, the volunteers, uh, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock for the volunteers. To get all the equipment set up and everything. And they need to pre-register as well? Yes, yes sir. Yes. So get and they a hold. need volunteers. And they need and some we volunteers. Need volunteers. So get out. a hold of Mr. Denver at 870-632-9499. Tell me you want to uh, help out with this event, Cast for Kids at McCabe Park. Mm -hmm. uh, the free lunch, it's a free event. Brought to you by a number of sponsors here locally. Uh, the meal event will be provided by Farm Bureau Insurance. It sounds like a great organization. Go check it out it at castforkids.org. Um, there we go. Let me see that shirt real quick. I'd like to read through these sponsors one more time before we get off the air. Uh, Cast for Kids, the Cape Park, the Bexas Boats, 
over at Flippin, Baxter Health, Arkansas Game and Fish, Lose, Lose, Cast for Kids, uh, Flambo Outdoors, Monster Spirit, Team Spirit Awards, and uh, Cast for Kids is the organization themselves. So there you go. Also, one other uh, big sponsor that's not on here is Nabatech, uh, the the uh, tackle. Uh, uh, company here locally in Midway that has donated a lot of stuff to us. We appreciate you joining us this morning. You've been watching The Morning Show on XL7 TV. See you tomorrow.